Okay, what I'm going to do today is to uh, apply a scratch coat to the wall. Okay, it's been previously uh, soaked in water, um, and we're going to put the scratch coat on to an approximate thickness of five millimeters. As a left-handed plaster, I'll be starting the right-hand side. If you're a right-handed plaster, you start on the left-hand side. The rule is that you always start at the top, work your way down, okay, and then from either left to right or right to left. Okay, but the rule is that you always follow the back of your trowel. Okay, if you're left-handed, and if you're right-handed. Okay. So I said before, start at the top. So always work into the angle, okay, up the wall and the glass. Don't have to smooth it out so much. Okay, into the angle. So you're working across uh, the wall so you don't have to go back to fill any bits in. can spread it quite a long way, okay, so when you're starting and okay, learning, maybe that you can only spread it a fraction or half that distance. So it comes so far, and then you go back here, so we're coming so we're coming down the wall in layers. gaps in between, over up the trowel, okay, with the water on the trowel, with the mortar on the wall, cut it up. Okay, so you don't leave any gaps in between. That saves you a lot of time. Okay, so now we come down another another layer. into the corner, again with no gaps.
Okay. Half the wall, obviously if he's doing this whole wall, you'd come all the way into the so you go all the way into the corner. Uh, so what we've got to do, to do now, we've got that wall done there. <coughs> Okay, we'll add a, one of these box rules or a feather edge rule. What we're going to do is just lightly just roll over the surface. Okay. And what we're doing is just see if it fits how straight the background is. So we're just going to straighten it out a little bit. before we scratch it up, so there's a few holes there that we need to fill in. So those little holes, and just put a little bit more in, just to make it all a little bit straighter. Check it again with your roll. Okay, so if you're happy with that now, you don't have to smooth it out. So what we're going to do now is use the scratcher, okay, to give it a key. And what a key is, so when we put your next coat on, the next coat will bond onto the other coat, your scratch coat. So start in the top corner again, in wavy lines, just bring it across. Okay, try not to do any misses, so the, so the next line has to directly come underneath. Slightly overlap, okay. So you don't want any gaps like that. Okay. It has to be in wavy lines because when you wet it for the next coat, what will happen is when you put water on, obviously the water then all right, will go down the wall all right, and just congregate in the bottom of the troughs on the wave. So the next so the, so the scratch coat will hold the water better for the next coat to go on. way down now. Okay, no misses. So what you do there is, okay, if that wall is ready now to put your dots on, so plumb up your dots, okay. But after you finish, what you need to do, as always, is tidy up. So then the scraper, okay, scrape the bottom of the floor.